Hey guys, what's up? It's Adam with Big Daddy Unlimited, here today to talk about stuff and things, things and stuff, when it comes to AR-15s. You know, we talk a lot about the guns, but we're going to talk about the pieces, parts, and accessories. The stuff that we keep on hand that we can get to you in a really fast time. So going and start from this side, moving all the way over, uh, we've got grips. You know, the stock A2 pistol grips that come on guns, they're okay. They kind of stink. You know, but the nice thing is that there's so many ones out there, you can change up however you want. I myself am a huge fan of Reptilia. Uh, their CQB grips are really nice. More of a vertical uh, back strap, uh, keeps your hand really neutral, really small, more of the PDW type. Uh, it has a tendency to cross over between both long guns and short guns, so it's kind of the one I choose a lot. Uh, you also have your Myad grip. It's an old trusted favorite, uh, available in a multitude of different sizes and shapes. You can change the back strap, the triggers, all that good stuff, the trigger guards. Um, so yeah, keep the Myad, we keep the Reptilia on stock, uh, moving over. Safety selectors. I myself prefer a 45. Uh, I got short little thumbs. Uh, it's hard for me to manipulate a 98. So first thing I do is swap it out for a Talon. Radiant Talon selectors are great. It's one selector that can either do 90 degree or 45. So use a serviceable, no screws, nothing. It runs on a D10 system, really easy, really fast. Also from these guys, we keep uh, their charging handles, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but yeah. Uh, Radium, we're a full stocking distributor for them. So if there's something you need that you can't find on the website, shoot me a call or an email and I'll see if I can't track it down. But this is one of our top selling products is the Talon Safety Selector. So we'll sit this guy right back there gently. Magazines. We've talked about this in previous video. You can never have too many of these. They're disposable. They're a commodity that you go through over time. They wear out, they break, they crack. Stuff happens, you know. Uh, we carry them in both 10, 20, and 30 round configurations. Uh, Lancer magazines, Magpul P mags. Uh, we also carry aluminum USGI mags from time to time from like Surefeed and, and a few other companies. So anytime you're shopping around, doesn't hurt to throw a few extra of these in your cart. They're super affordable. And, you know, you can never have too many. I try to keep a little hither, you know, hidden stash in my truck because I have a tendency to forget them at my house. So having them in a bag underneath my rear seat, I never run out of them. And you know, if I ever get to the range and I didn't pack any mags, go to my truck, boom, there you go. So magazines. Uh, next thing, muzzle devices. Uh, standard is an A2. Um, I use suppressors, um, I use muzzle brakes, and I really, really like the Surefire War Comps. They're tunable, so you can either choose a complete vertical push down or you can clock it for a right-hand shooter. That's the way I prefer it, because I am a righty. Uh, and it really makes the gun have a neutral feel to it. Uh, reduces any kind of muzzle rise, also reduces the felt recoil back into the gun. Also, at a benefit, you can run surefire suppressors on it. Uh, I've got a SOCOM RC2 that I run pretty hard on a number of guns. So I have a bunch of these muzzle devices. Uh, we carry them in both the open time war comp closed time war comp, as well as the MB556, which is the muzzle brake uh, variant. Moving over a little bit more, these are two products that we were able to pick up from our buddies over at Zev. Uh, they had an overstock and they're changing some configurations on their guns. So we were able to pick these parts up on a really smoking deal and pass it along to you. We are super limited in what we can get uh, quantity wise. So we bought everything they had and what you'll see on the website is what we got. The first one is a Zev Mark superlative gas block. I'm just now trying these and I'm really digging them. I've used a couple other uh, adjustable gas blocks in the past. These tend to be great, a little bit better in my opinion. They do a bleed off system as opposed to a restriction system. So I'm seeing a little bit better performance out of them personally. Uh, they're a uh, 0.750 uh, diameter. So they'll fit on your standard M4 barrels and any other standard kind of configuration barrels. Um, they come as you see, they'll be in a little baggie, no tools, no instructions, but it's a gas block. You can't really mess it up. You know, if you're not, you know, willing to do it, I'm sure there's an armor local to you that's of good quality that can do it for you. Moving over one, PWS ratcheting end plate system. So you, it'll come as you see it in this baggie, you'll get the end plate and the castle nut. This system requires no tools, no staking, you know, take your buffer tube, slide the end plate on. Slide the castle nut, or slide the castle nut on, then the end plate. Thread it into your uh, your lower receiver. Ratchet it down. Once it gets the full tension, you hear that last click. You're done. 
No need to get a hammer to punch out and stake your castle nut. It's good to go. Those things are amazing. I have them on four or five of my guns and really like them. Plus you get the added benefit of a QD disconnect right in the back of the receiver. So boom, there you go. Bolt carrier groups. Uh, a common failure port, you know, point on high round count guns is the shearing of bolts. Uh, it happens. Carrying a spare, having one, you know, available is a nice thing. Also, I am very guilty of finding one pin or a screw to a rail and building an entire gun. So having a spare bolt carrier group, which is the heart of a, you know, a rifle, is nice to have. Uh, we carry the arrows and we carry a number of other like bootleg and a few and a few other brands. Hit the website, check it out. If there's not one you see, again, hit me up. I'll find it for you. Uh, moving over into braces, we carry the, uh, the SB Tactical line of braces. We also have Maxim Defense on hand as well. Uh, the SBA4 is the newest product from SB Tactical. We have them both black and FDE. For all you guys out there that are pistolitos, you know, that like to carry a, a short gun in their vehicle or you know, have it available traveling through state lines and whatnot, Pistol braces are a great choice. Like I said, both black and flat dark earth. And then last, but certainly not least, Radian. We talked about them before. We're going to talk about them again. We carry their takedown pins and also uh, the Raptor charging handles, both the SL, the normal Raptor, and then the SD. So anything you need there, let us know. Uh, charging handles are a huge upgrade for me, especially Ambi ones. Um, I only run the Radians. They're just built well. They look great and they work and the people over there are incredible. So yeah, that's your stuff and things, things and stuff for AR-15 accessories. If you got any questions or if there's something you can't find, feel free to give us a call and check us out at Big Daddy Unlimited.